Hi everybody, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, so we're gonna, we, if you haven't noticed, we actually started on the Broken Bridge. It's where we killed, uh, dear old Creighton, our dear friend. That poor bastard. And that's where Act 7 starts. Which is kind of neat. And I guess, uh, I guess Path's not with me, so this is now solo LP. Oh, no, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Second, I need to, I need to cast all my auras anyways. You're on the broken bridge. Oh, you're outside of the broken bridge. Are they are they called the same thing? Yeah, no bridge encampment. Right. That's why that's why I was very confused about where you were. Uh, Pat, you're gonna be confused no matter what. That's probably true. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so what do you have now for us, Pat? You said you changed uh, things. I'm using giant flaming skulls, and since Mike is doing so much elemental damage, I decided I would switch out to, uh, since vulnerability is a curse that increases the physical damage they take, Mike's doing a lot of elemental damage, I figured, fuck it, switch to elemental weakness, which lowers their elemental resistances. And I think these things are stronger than just regular skeletons anyway, because they're just flaming skeletons. No, we, we don't know. We don't judge the skeleton stuff. No, I do. We don't judge them. All right, so you got elemental weaker, so now we do even more elemental damage against them. I even exactly. have I, I even have some resistance penetration as well, so we're doing a shit ton of damage. Oh yeah. We have to find Whalem Silver Locket now. Oh. Did you did you ask Grand Happy where he put it? Yeah, he said it's gonna be in one of the houses. In one of the houses. Yes. Grandpappy was never very specific. But I don't blame him. Oh, he was, it, uh... <laughs> it so happens to be in this one. It's pretty great, actually. There you go. His silver locket. I was expecting that to take far longer to find than it actually did. <laughs> well, you know, I, I don't think there's... Oh, I think there's only a couple that I can go to. Actually, there was the waypoint here, wasn't there? Right here? Yeah, look at that. Oh, something's up with that. It's uh, broken or something. Did you do that, well, I, mean, I mean, I'm not that fat. Thank you. Just jumped onto so, the waypoint. That's probably... How, how do you think the waypoints actually even work, Mike? Do you think we just jump on it? Like, I, I, this doesn't seem right. Do we jump on the waypoints? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, or, or do we just stand on it and it, like... Like, it's a Star Trek, like molecular <laughs> transporter dealing. We get we get beaten to whatever location we want to. Yeah, right. So so if we if we fucking use waypoints do we die every time we use it? Dude, that it that terrifies me so much about <laughs> that, right? Your death you know counter should go up. What? I can't do this. Terrifies like, you? Yeah, like teleporters and shit where they're like, oh yeah it'll disassemble you molecularly and then rebuild fuck that dude. You're literally dying every time. That sounds horrible. Take the rate of but chaos. If you're gonna do that, if you're gonna do that, couldn't it, wouldn't that just be essentially cloning? Because you could rebuild them at the spot, can but you not fucking take. Apart. Can you fucking take the Warcraft 3 fucking card? Thank you. Okay, sorry. Warcraft, really? Yeah, it's a Reign of Chaos. Oh, okay. Haven't you ever played Reign of Chaos? Uh, no, I never actually played any of the Warcrafts. Oh, that's fucking really sad for you, actually. I'm gonna I know, go, right? I'm gonna go, go give Pappy's fucking... Bullshit. Me look it! <laughs> Oh, me darling, me beautiful Meredith. How I miss your shuddering bosoms, your quivering thighs. Oh, she had a heart to melt an iceberg and teeth the size of a... Ooh. Well, anyway, I, I thank you greatly. Please, whatever else be in that lockbox, take your pick from it. This locket be the only treasure I need. Ah, oh, we have flasks now. All right. Oh, teats the size of an iceberg. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, okay. So this is actually a really nice one. So we actually get a, a fair bit of flasks here. We get some dodge if you want dodge. The best one for us is actually granite. Always keep your because that raises our armor by a significant amount. Let me just tell you that. Uh, so that one's pretty good actually, except for the fact that don't it's... you have that thing that turns your evasion into armor? I mean, not yet, no. Oh, I, okay. I also have jade flasks somewhere, yes. But the jade flasks, though, I should say, are a little bit worse. Where's the fucking chest over there? The jade flasks are a bit worse because uh, if you actually look at it, I have two of these. So thirty. Oh, actually, they've 
They've changed it actually, so now it's actually exactly the same. Alright, never mind. Carry on as usual. Oh, okay. We also have basalt, but uh, I think the other one is actually the best for us. It's the size of what, Pat? Of an iceberg! Oh. And just as pointy. Just as pointy. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm heading back to the crossroads. Now I fucking need my desk. Jesus Christ. So we can even show you. So my uh, physical damage reduction is 21%. When I pop the flask, it goes to 68%. Pretty good shit. Nice. All right, so which way do we want to go? So we already been here. So it says travel to Felshire Crypt, find this map, or travel to old enforced encampment and kill Groose to defeat Rekalash. Let's go so, south first. So why is it telling me to kill Groose? I thought the person that you help is the one that remains. I guess they changed their mind on that. Yeah, they were going to do a thing where, depending on who you left alive, was going to be the one that you fought, yeah, but the moment they never the actually made it that far. Apparently it was uh, a struggle to code that for some reason. I mean, I guess, like, in a party, who, who comes out, then? Yeah, that, I think that's the reason why they did it. Because party, it, it was very anti-party play. I guess so. Uh, we gotta keep the target alive and open up these chests. Oh, so then I just won't spawn minions. That seems easy enough. I don't know why I'm over here, by the way. Ugh. I'm on the other side of the wall, Pat. Eventually, let me through. Okay, let me through. Okay, you guys, I was actually kind of getting worried, to be honest with uh, you. So was I. He was pointing down here somewhere. Oh, bundle of woe. Well, he is... he is dead. Oh, that's a nice flask, actually. I mean, we did get a bismuth up to now, but this one's an excellent one, actually. I'm gonna actually take that one. Because we don't actually need, like... We don't, we don't really need that many life flasks. Actually, maybe we do need a lot of life flasks. But, but I mean, it's not... I, you know what, actually, you know what? Pat, Pat actually raises my resistances, so you know what? Actually, Pat, you get it. Oh, I actually kind of need that. My resistances yeah. are a little lackluster. It just occurred to me that mine is much better. Yeah, I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you as much survivability and damage as possible. Also, I just hit dual curses. Oh, good job. I know, right? I can now curse at people twice. Fuck shit. Exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Where the hell is a fucking piece of shit? They're probably really far down there, dude. Dude, can oh, you imagine? I, I, I'm, I'm using frostbite and how much? What's actually your? Ooh, what's your most elemental damage, actually? What do you mean my most? Oh. What what, what do you do the most of? Uh, obviously, cold damage. It's fucking frost blades. Okay, I'm just dumbass. Sure. <laughs> Fuck it, all, Pat. I swear to God. I was just making sure. Jesus. Pat's in I'll charge of being weakness. smart. I'll use elemental weakness and frostbite. Jesus. You can uh, you can keep using in people though. Okay, that's a lot of fucking. Uh, I mean, I can swap them out. I have I have all of them on my main hand, so it's not like it's not I can't switch. I mean, you can do it how you want, and people helps us both of it. So. Uh, but frost uh, frostbite also lets you freeze. I guess so. I mean, I, I'm now one shot even more than I was before. <laughs> I don't even think I should be cursing them, it just takes too long. It's probably not these ones now. Where the fuck is... Grandpappy fucking... Breachy's fucking mission. It's it, Oh, there it is. Okay, down there. Yeah, he was pointing as far south as humanly possible. I mean, how can he point as far south as humanly possible? Is, uh, he can only point, Pat. It doesn't mean as far okay, south. Okay, he was pointing onto the map into a southern dimension. That goes beyond what we thought it would be. So they mention you mean North Carolina? <laughs> Fuck off! Don't even don't even make that joke. We're on fire right now down here. Uh, is that the guy now? All right, no, so we need to open up the chest without killing the guy, and I I can pretty much kill him. Okay, easily. I've got I've got the person on me, like, and they're pretty decently far away from you, so you All can right. go ahead and kill everything. Uh, nope. Alright. Just go hog wild. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's just uh, so, some fucking guy is always there. Alright, got it. Alright. Where's Verici? Oh, apparently he didn't come out when of the box this time. Ourselves, all the lives of Usually he, he spawns on top of the box, so Verici's locked in the box. <laughs> Alright, and now we're in the crypt. Oh, we've been in this place a, before. A Verici in the box. 
And we gotta solve the Trial of Ascendancy in this area. So they didn't really make new Trials of Ascendancy at all, they're just the same ones. I mean, I, I, well, I, I'm hoping that since this is just the first pass of the... You know, all the new acts, they'll probably improve on it in time. Because that's what they did to the old acts. I can't, I can't even tell you how many times they changed, like, Act 3. The thing, the thing is, though, yeah, they, they usually do change it, but the thing is, though, regardless of what complaints you may have about this, like, oh, shit, they didn't change anything, what the fuck? Free game, no bitching? Uh, no, 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 it's not just that. If they didn't do it, guess what? We'd be doing it anyways. It wouldn't make a yeah. difference. That's true. Because nothing really changes in that case. All right, trial sentence it. Because it, like, then, the, the thing is, they actually removed all the difficulties, you know? So it's not just about free game, no bitching. Oh, that was completely awful, actually. I don't know, I just saw it open, and then I'm like, yeah. Well, really I hit awful. the lever for it, and I was hoping it would actually be something, but it wasn't. Like, I keep running I'm over here the... dodging and shit, and you're just running through <laughs> it like a mad shit. I mean, that's kind of how I roll. Alright. So that all may find you. There's one more place and then uh, probably an act eight or something, and then we could potentially do labyrinth. I would say it'd be the last thing we do before I don't know. I don't know what level it is, to be honest. Labyrinth. I'm not I'm not actually sure either, to be honest. So this is something that we can't really give you advice on. Oh man, a library. Have I ever told you how sexy Azaro's voice is? Because I accidentally clicked on that bronze plaque and I'm just sitting over here like, oh yeah. It's like my voice, Pat. It's true. <laughs> no, no, Azaro's got a way better voice. No offense to you, you've got an amazing voice, oh, but go god oh, damn. You. Wait, you, you god wanna, damn, do I don't know where they I don't know where they found that voice actor for Azaro, but. You wanna do call shit. fucking shit with fucking Azaro? Bitch. Oh my god. Yeah, no, you and him do co-op shit together. <laughs> Like, and every time these two are stopping uh, talking together, just the fucking walls start rumbling. Shine boldly, or something. Alright, I, I got plenty of things for this. Oh, it's a chest level. It's actually pretty good, because it's a jeweler box. Yeah. yeah. Uh, go ahead, open it up a little bit. I don't give a fuck. More stuff for me to kill. Ancient shards? Oh. Becomes an ancient orb. I don't even know what that does. We'll figure it out eventually. How much do we need for ancient shards? Uh, it's 20 of all oh. shards make the thing. Except for mirror shards. It's five mirror shards to the thing. Ah, okay. Malgaro's map. So we've just found Malgaro's map. Uh, By the way, I, I, was, I was really backing the wrong horse on that. Summon skeletons is not really that great. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, I, <coughs> I think for mapping I'm going to reroll into Ranger and I'm going to play that. Because, I mean, th I played Duelist just for tutorial's sake. Just there's something simple to start with, so... I don't, is there anything else we need to do here, or no? No, we, we should be good in this place, because we've, uh... I've got to travel to the Chamber of Sins. Well, I just wanted my level. Alright, I have done I am done the sign life wheel. It's a, not a wheel anymore, Mike. It's a break. Well, I'm... Fucking old habits die hard. I imagine it was no easy feat, removing that abomination from its tomb. The horrors that must still lurk beneath the Fell Shrine. Well, I suppose you'll be meeting abominations of plenty where you're going next. Place that map upon Malagaro's reverie device, and remember, hope for the worst. At least then you'll be partially prepared for what's to come. Farewell. Are you okay? Yeah. Like fucking like moving a, in my chair. I I mute you and then you're like fucking like swearing yourself fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it's because it's because I'm looking at my gems. I'm like I need more dexterity. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. All right, I'm back here. Oh, I'm gonna say hi to my friend Hunter. Oh shit. Tala Moana, warrior. Oh, we gotta go to his dungeon. Yeah, his haunted cell. Oh, it literally looks like a sex dungeon now. Fuck. Oh yeah. Also, I realized why you're so fast. Why? It's not just the sword, it's the fact that I'm using generosity with haste. Yeah, that would, that would happen. That, that would make it happen. I'm not complaining, trust me. So, part of me thinks that you really should have done an, an actual necromancer. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling a necromancer on the side with a very similar setup to what this one's going to be. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare the two. I really, I really want to see if there's actually a benefit to Scion. Versus the actual necromancer ascendancy. I, I, I'm actually doing some pretty thorough testing, Mike. Well, All right. I, I won't give you any spoilers, but I think it's gonna be garbage. But you already knew that. 
I mean, it's already working out pretty well. And that's you were just me. complaining, like just a little bit ago. You're like, what? I need more dexterity or something. And then, well, yeah, but you met you. You know how much more dexterity I'm gonna have to get as a goddamn witch. It's gonna be unreal. Like you've played a witch before, Mike. How hard is it to get to dex as uh, dex as that bitch? It's so easy, man. Fucking oh. so fucking easy. No. Ye fucking drugo, bitch. Uh, yeah, it's hard. Something, something, something like my penis. Like Haku's. Haku's dick. Dude, these guys, these guys are uh, cycloning. See, that's more of a reason not to use this, I think. Oh, okay. I don't want to copy them. Everyone knows only one person is allowed to do any build at any time. No, that makes sense. Alright, let's go to the reverie device. Dude, I do a lot of damage even without you around. It's great. And when you when you when you're around I do even more damage, so it's like Yes. And then damage. I curse them and then they take even more damage. And then I rally and cry and then you do even more damage. You know, it's not cool to curse people, Pat. You have to be you have to be nice. No. You should know better than that. I'm not nice ever. So guys How's your just, mana sustain. Uh it's excellent actually. Okay, go. No, no complaints. I, I don't even know if it's your rallying cry or what. I'm sure that uh, helps. I mean, I'm not using it as often as I should, so you're probably good on your own. Oh, dude, my favorite character is here. I see him. I see his ass. Uh, let's go talk to him. Hello to you, great the fuck? What? <laughs> Hello <laughs> to you, great dreamer. I've never... Well, okay, whatever. Master has made him into a thing more monstrous than even I can best. Who knows? Perhaps Black Death is too strong even for you. Uh, he's really quiet. Yeah, he's he's really really weird. Talk to him from the north and then look at his ass. He has actually gotten really flat. I mean, I, all I see it's black. Oh, there we go. If he's gotten really flat, of course Pat would notice this. Oh, it's like I'm just gonna show something else before you. Continue. All right, so. Uh, remember the way down here? So there's a dead black guard here. I guess from before. Yeah. And, oh, hey, it's a little bit webby down there. Fuck that. So. I mean, that is, that is kind of gross. But this is actually to introduce you kind of to the way the endgame works for Path of Exile. Um, so you go into the map device, you put in your fucking map that you have. This is just a special map that's quest related. You fucking do this and then, hey, look, it opens up portals and you get six chances to do the map. Um, or one if you're playing hardcore, I guess, but, <laughs> oh, you just it's don't always die. one. I mean, you can log out and stuff, but you basically get, it, basically, if we go back to town, we're using up those portals, essentially, uh, so we don't want to go back to town, really. Dude, that, that's a nice shrine to have right now. Oh, yeah. Especially if I remember, dude, you are so fucking fast, Jesus. Can't do this just yet. Well, you know, Pat, that's And rude. it's mostly my fault, but still. <laughs> it's mostly your fault. So the, the whole idea is we kind of go into some other instance and uh, kind of we go kill stuff and then this is kind of how mapping works and you go clear up packs, you get loot and stuff like that and then you randomly roll like different things onto the map that maps that you get kind of thing because that, that's a unique map so obviously you can't change it so um, and it's, as I said this is part of the story but I'm just saying it, this is actually an element of the end game it's actually showing you yeah that's that's what you do you put maps into the map device and that's the end game. So, it's kind of neat that they kind of incorporated it there just to kind of get you a little bit into it. It's, it's part of the Path of Exile universe, I guess, in its own way. 
And there's an entire quest line actually based around maps in the end game too, so... Which we we'll probably... probably do that eventually. I mean, we're probably not going to do that. I'm not doing no... Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna go full hardcore. I mean, it might work out, but we'll see. There's a guy following us. You're following us. I just want I just want you to know I have no minion damage nodes or minion anything nodes. Yeah, I know you don't. You played fucking Scion. No, it's because I I went all hardcore into the uh, you start, auras. And you, you really should have done Necrobats, I'm just saying. As I said, I, I'm making a necromancer, but you do realize if I would have all these auras that early on a necromancer, I'd have no minion nodes then either. I mean, you would from your fucking. You'd at least have the 30% damage and the and the fucking resist and shit from the necromancer eh. tree, and damage from that tree too. Yeah, I don't think the resist from the necromancer thing is as big a deal as you make it out to be. I think it is. I think the chaos resist from the scion one is better. I. Respectfully disagree, but whatever. So you you believe that generic? Elemental I literally do not want to fight about this. I do not. Oh, care. okay. I was just gonna say. I feel like chaos resist is just too hard to get. Uh, whatever. Here's Malgaro's workshop. Oh, right, hey, he's just here again. Kind of want to be hit by that. Yeah, it seems a little scary. Oh, good. He's got a giant fucking spider here. The Black Death. And it is Black Dead. Oh, and it almost killed me. <laughs> oh shit, it's Fiddleitis again. Seems to have a lot of spider things. Well, multi legged things, at the very least. You fucking not Spider Man piece of shit? Alright, good. <clears throat> Black Venom. Sword is a piece of shit. Jewel is okay. It's got a physical damage roll. It's not bad. Critical strike multiplier. Eh, you know, actually, uh, someone could you maybe use that sometime, but not not for this build. And it's starting no. to sin. Our brutal construction nears completion, and now only the wretched Dodri Darktum remains. Unlike her compeers, who in undeath have yearned for the familiar. Dodri appears drawn to the old wounds of Calamity. The Cataclysm took some and left much that a parasite like Dodri might enjoy. I shall meet you in Sarn, for I hope you shall make swift and bloody work of that foul hag. Alright, well, that's it for that guy. So to leave the map, we simply make a portal and we're out of there. Instead of going back to town, it's kind of how maps work. Alright, let's talk to Silk. Venom. Oh, great dreamer who has done great deeds. I shall see to it that my queen rewards you with honor and mercy when she rises up to claim what is hers. Yes, this elixir, so aged and potent, shall be life-giving draft that she sips upon first waking. It is my gift to her. My wedding gift. Great dreamer. You will be wrapped in silk and fine, and made welcome at our wedding feast. Guest of honor. And oh, what a feast we all shall enjoy. Alright, we got Obsidian Key. Dude, he's freaking me out a little bit. Yeah, he seems a bit off. Alright, let's, uh... You know, Get our quest reward and then come back. Yeah, and I also need to sell some shit, too. Yeah, me too. Just try to see who needs to... Fucking tell me shit out of this guy. What? He's intending to make matrimony with Arakali? My word, that's quite a story even for Silk. Yes, I know that name, and the place to which it is purportedly attached. A temple to the north, now in ruins. If Silk intends unholy congress with this Arakali, that is the most likely place we would seek it. Unfortunately, Arakali's temple lies beyond that which now belongs to Ralakesh. To reach the many-legged goddess, you must first draw to some conclusion with the many-faced god. Keep your wits about you. 
What you tell me of Silk, this I understand, though I do not want to. I have spent many nights pondering Silk's journey, why he has stepped from the spirit path. Now I know. He has walked into the eight arms of blind lust, Arakali. Silk is a warning to us all. He is trying to take the short trail to greatness, to the story Spirit has made for him. Silk tries to steal his story, but now he holds only a lie. Please, you must find the place where this Arakali sleeps in her web of shadow. You must stop Silk before he wakes her. A mistake that we all will come to regret. The spirit tells me this is so. One less twisted intellect perverting our world. There is still much to be done, but at least we can rest easier in the knowledge that Melagaro and his foul creations will trouble Rayclass no longer. Here. I know that you and Groost didn't see eye to eye, but I'm sure he would have wanted to recognize this deed. It's the act of a warrior, after all. All right, well, it's boots, but I can't take any of them because I have a full inventory. GG. My boots aren't that bad, but my boots are slightly better. Yeah, you rolled boots, too. Hello. Sucker. Journey well. All right, let's see what I got. Oh, boy, that's actually really nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. That's a lot better than my shitty boots. Yeah, I'm taking. I'm taking these. What was I put my resistances up to? Pretty good, actually. Throw my purity on top of that, and you should be good to go. I have good resist on that. So maybe I can roll life on that. We can actually go see if I can roll life on that. Because we need some life, and those boots are, I think, going to last me for quite a while. So let's go see if we can roll life onto it. We can. No, we just put a life roll on top of it, and that's it. Because we're going to be using those. It's, I mean, it's a four link. It's got two resistances. It's got a movement speed roll. There's no reason not to roll life on the, on those kinds of boots. <laughs> like it's just that's that's how this game it, is. It's played. a it's a really good pair of boots. It really is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it won't it won't last like forever, but it'll last until like literally, like the mapping probably. Just just those boots alone, like they're really nice. Lucky me. We got all of them quest rewards, yo. Yo. Alright. Yo! Let's go. I guess that, I guess the one thing we will do before we sign off is I actually want to show you guys. We actually didn't look at um in the uh in the crossroads, we didn't actually look at what happens if you kinda of go towards the encampment, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Mmm. So let's say we want to go straight to the encampment. It's one, the one thing we kind of forgot forgot on. I'm on my way. Too slow, Pat. I That's really am. Spent. I probably should have cast on damage taken because someone's saying that I should have that for my. To put golem. your uh, golem on. Oh, here we go. So uh, once again, fucking block path. Can't go that way. Ripperonis. Constantly with the traps and everything, so. That's it for that one, so, uh. I guess, uh, take care, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye. Goodbye.